All right. So um, allow me to start a very, uh, it's, it's evening here in uh, Indonesia. I'm in Surabaya, uh, which is uh, a, the capital of East Java province. And uh, it's uh, definitely uh, encouraging to see the young generation uh, actively participating in the promotion of creativity and innovation. I did my bit of research about what uh, uh, all of you are, are trying to do. And uh, I understand that CREA is uh, an initiative uh, by Indonesian youth to, to promote uh, creativity and innovation and engaging in activities that can stimulate uh, the, uh, uh, what do you call? I mean, I, uh, that would stimulate a real, uh, um, actions uh, in areas such as education and media. And of course, uh, I know that today is a special day for all of us in Indonesia uh, because the 21st of April is actually called the day of Kartini. And Kartini is a hero uh, for uh, female empowerment. And uh, Indonesia always celebrate the 21st of April as the day where uh, female empowerment is uh, being uh, being upheld by all of us in Indonesia. So congratulations to all the female out there. Uh, we believe that the future promises even greater opportunities for female uh, to take a great, greater role in the society. But also I understand that the United Nations actually celebrate the 21st of April as World Creativity and Innovation Day. It's a day where we are raising awareness about the importance of creativity and innovation to solve our problems. And of course, uh, the UN would want all of us to think hard and act quick, you know, real actions on how we can actually advance the achievement of the global sustainable development goals. And uh, we would like to see how we can challenge the issue of poverty, the lack of education, uh, promoting health, and then saving our environment. All of those require thinking outside the box. We cannot just confine ourselves to solutions that are available today. Uh, we need to really think uh, beyond all the conventional wisdom on how we can solve these problems. And we believe that the children and the youth have limitless uh, imagination on what we can do. Now, don't be afraid on innovating on imagining because I think the, the process of creativity has no limit. There's no right or wrong. And it's, it's all up to us to really then uh, improve and refine our ideas. So, um, but, but of course, when we talk about creativity, uh, it will be better if our creativity comes with a better understanding of the world of the knowledge that exists around us. So if you read more, if you listen more, if you find out more, if you go down to the society and learn uh, firsthand on things that you cannot just find from textbooks or from videos, then you would have the, uh, the understanding. You would have a lot of reference on, on, but not to simply just copy what you saw, but use that as inspiration to then come up with ideas that nobody has ever taught before. So I'm sure that when we all, you know, of course, uh, you know, uh, you can come up with something nobody ever taught before, uh, but it will be even better had you actually uh, gone through the process of learning about what happens around us. And now the process of learning is uh, so much better because with the internet, it's very easy to tap into knowledge that exists everywhere around the world. You know, and it's uh, almost effortless to do so. So I encourage all of you, use the internet wisely. Don't just use it just for the sake of, uh, um, you know, I mean, social media is good because there's a lot of great contents out there, but be wise on what you want to want to watch because there's only 24 hours in a day. Of course you do. You can actually have fun and have a quality fun looking at things that encourage and promote friendship that promote innovation and don't get too much uh, caught up into, into contents that you know, actually uh, promote uh, or even encourage uh, you know, fights and you know, opinion differences can be healthy. 
But when you actually try to uh, impose upon ideas to others, I mean, that will kill the whole creativity. So be open. You can learn from anyone. You can learn from PhDs, you can learn from professors, and you can learn from anyone who had not even gone to school, you know, because everybody can be a source of inspiration, young and old, male and female, everybody, you know, even animal can become source of inspiration for us. There's a lot of uh, wisdom out there. Just get your feet up and, and look around and cherish the life that God has given us. I think that's going to be the best source of inspiration. So with this, I would like to conclude my very short remark. I'm not going to take a long time. I'm sure you all have exciting things to discuss. And um, I'm in a government myself right now. And uh, of course, it's a challenge to try to promote creativity because government is associated with bureaucracy, with process. Uh, so it's not that easy, but I'm trying so hard. Uh, I'm, 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 and uh, it, it always excites me to see a lot of initiatives coming from the society. The government cannot solve all your problem. We can solve it together. The government at least should not stand in the way of creativity. The government should not stand in the way of innovation. We will bolster, we will promote, and we will facilitate the process of coming up with great ideas to solve our uh, society's issues. So with that, I would like to once again congratulate Tria.id for hosting this uh, event uh, and also for the uh, and also let us celebrate uh, the World Creativity and Innovation Day and may the world be a better place with all of you guys in it. Thank you very much. Yeah.